Okay, it's six o'clock. I hope you can hear me well enough. I have to move closer uh, to my laptop, so sorry, uh, in order so that you can hear me. So now we are starting the uh, Eden Gala, uh, I would say Eden Scholarly Gala part. Um, this is the part related to the awards, and I always know that this is a uh, uh, always very interesting part. We have been given uh, some awards uh, before uh, during uh, this conference. It was uh, on the Monday when we had welcome session. We awarded uh, Eden Fellows and uh, Eden Senior Fellows our acknowledgement of quality and excellence. And now in this session, we will award Young Scholar Grant, Young Scholar's Best Paper Award, and Best Research Paper and Award. And with me now uh, are uh, Lisa Mari Blaschke, who was the Chair of Best Research Paper Award, and our dear colleague, Ulrich, Ulrich Bernard from Ulrich Bernard Foundation, who is supporting and uh, always uh, young uh, scholars and uh, young people aiming to do uh, innovation and excellence in research. So we are very thankful for Uli for all his contributions uh, in these year, years and uh, in next to come. Um, so uh, let me just say that uh, Young Scholar Grant, we will start first with, uh, uh, with this, uh, is uh, is a award uh, which, uh, uh, for which uh, young scholars uh, who are uh, degree program and doctoral students who are eligible, uh, who individually or in team submit original research paper to the annual conference. This year it's Eden 2021 annual conference in Madrid. And now uh, I appreciate contribution of Uli Bernard Foundation for research and open in open and distance learning. And I would like to ask Uli to present the Young Scholar Grant and maybe to even uh, give a little bit more details about evaluation criteria which are needed to, uh, to be able to eligible for, for this grant. So Uli. Please turn on the mic. Okay, I'll... Emma, do you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Okay, I have a poor connection, unfortunately. I have a very poor connection. I'm sitting in the garden because I need uh, connectivity next door. Okay, sorry for all these um, perhaps problems that will occur, but nice to hear that you hear me. <laughs> yes, we can hear you quite well. Okay. So please, can you present the Young Scholar Grant? Uh, I explained a little uh, about uh, who is eligible, but maybe you could give a few details uh, more and, uh, uh, and pronounce the winner, which is the most interesting part. Okay. Okay, the young scholars, uh, graduate students, doctoral students who submit conference papers for presentation, participate in the best research paper award competition. So there is no difference in evaluating their papers with the rest of all other papers that want to succeed in the best research paper award competition. Um, the, uh, we have a limited number of grants, so a selection takes place and all the young scholars papers that are above average of competing conference papers are finally checked. Who is the best? Who is the next? Who is the third? Who is the fourth? We've got four grants. Unfortunately, only three, three succeeded in receiving a grant. And the three winners are a fine team from Turkey, four young scholars. I try to pronounce their names properly. Beysa Özdal, Dilek Güler, Ezgi Tufan, 
Isigur Liman Kaban, and they presented the paper using Petrize Up as a collaborative writing tool in higher education. EFL classes. This is also the winner of the Young Scholar, Eden Young Scholar Prize. The second paper that will receive the grant was submitted by Atanasios Sypsas, the Young Scholar, who in a team with the senior scholars, Yevgenia Paxinu and our colleague Dimitris Kalles. Congratulations. And the third who will receive the grant are Laura Eichbrecht, the young scholar, who in the team with our colleague Ulf Daniel in Illes successfully submitted the paper. These three teams or persons, they will receive the 300 euro grant and the Turkish group will share it, 75 each. Congratulations. It was a great pleasure to read their paper. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Uli. I wish uh, a congratulation to all uh, fellow of all um, uh, young scholars who received the grant. Uh, it's very nice. I, I don't think they do mind it 75 or something. It's, it's uh, the recognition they receive, I think, is, is, uh, is the most important. And I'm very, very happy uh, for them. So, uh, as you Uli already said, the Eden Young Scholar Paper Award also uh, goes to the team who received the Young Scholar Grant. Uh, and as you were perfectly pronounce their names the first time, I think it's best that you uh, repeat uh, their names for the second time so that I don't uh, try to pronounce it. Uh. Okay, so the Eden Prize for Young Scholars won. I take my glasses. Besa Özdal, Dilek Güler, Ezgi Tufan and Isigo Liman Kaban. Congratulations. Congratulations, Istanbul University, uh, Mentor Education Group, and oh, Başşehir University. Okay, let's say that we pronounced it. I'm very happy for you. Very, very um, good. Uh, I wish you all the best in your future research work. Uh, uh, and it's always so nice to have such young people eager to work, to contribute to research and to, to give all of their best uh, for, for the science and education. Maybe we could take a minute or two to ask one of them to say the few words. Uh, so who, who is going to be from the team? Maybe. Maybe Beza, do you want to say, or who is who wanted to say something? Okay. okay. Hi. Um, we are really happy and proud because last year was really hard because of COVID. We just turned into online, and it was we had lots of troubles. We tried to reach our students, but we turned into this, uh, this trouble into opportunity. I think online education is a miracle in, in the days of COVID-19. And we are a really proud team. Uh, so if you want, yes, Beza, Ezgi, Dilek, they work really hard and uh, to finish this uh, project in the MA program at Bahçeşehir University. So yes, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, great. Congratulations once again. And I'm certain we'll see you in the future in activities, conferences, research workshops uh, again. Okay, let's move on to the best research paper award ceremony. Uh, this is the decade-long tradition of the initiative in the Uli Bernard Foundation for recognizing quality and excellence at the Eden conferences. So, Uli, I kindly ask you to explain the rules of the Eden Best Researcher Paper Award procedures. 
Okay. The, in, the main criteria that need to be met are six. We are expecting that a winner will contribute convincingly to the theme of the conference. And the paper deals with a research question that is also relevant, relevant for the conference participants. We expect a rigorous examination or research methods. Of course, nobody is perfect, but the better, the earlier you are a winner. The findings and results and outcomes should be convincingly presented and critically examined. That's important, critically examined. Just describing the results usually is below average. And the conclusions need thoroughly be discussed. They should also include aspects of applicability, transferability, and further research. And of course, a uh, winner must show that the literature is reviewed against the state of the art. No one is perfect. Never a paper reached all the maximum points. But the higher, the better. And the best are now presented by Lisa. Yes, as I Thank said, Lisa, Lisa is the chair of Best Research Paper Award Jury. So Lisa, uh, please, floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Um, this year's jury was faced with a significant challenge in choosing the paper worthy of receiving Eden's Best Research Paper Award. We met in the beginning of May to review the first round of papers and to begin the initial selection of award finalists. And from this first round, uh, six highly exceptional papers uh, emerged to form the finalists. And I'd like to go through those because sometimes we just forget that there's other people that have really, really devoted some, some, some time and effort into this and that they made the first cut. So just to go through that list, uh, the first is differences in academic resiliency when the pandemic pandemic forced courses online, was prior learning was prior online course taking protective from Claire Waldis, City University of New York, Al Alyssa Hachi, University of Texas in El, Paso, in El Paso, Catherine Conway, City University of New York, all from the United States. The second, learning analytics in a time of pandemics, mat mapping the field from Paul Prinslow from UNISA in South Africa, Mohamed Khalil, University of Bagan in Norway, Sharon Slade from Earth Trust, United Kingdom. The third paper, Reconstructing Subjective Study Experiences During Shutdown in Pandemic Times from Ulf Daniel Ellers, Laura Eigbrecht, Baden-Württemberg Cooperative State University in Karlsruhe, Germany. I Feel Like a Guinea Pig, Emotional Responses to the Online Pivot. That's from Elaine Dan, my read, and I'm not going to pronounce your last name, Mark Brown, Dublin City University from Ireland. Um, <laughs> if my read's here, I hope you accept my apologies. <laughs> the fourth paper, or the fifth paper is Digital Competence Improvement by Lithuanian School Teachers During COVID-19 by Estella. And again, I'm not going to try to pronounce these last names. And Irena, although I've known you for many years, I still can't do your last name. Uh, Elena, and they are all from Vitautis Magnus University in Lithuania. And the final paper is Emergency Responses to the COVID-19 Crisis in Education, a Shift from Chaos to Complexity from Barbie Svetek, Blatsenka Divyak, and at the Faculty of Organization Informatics at the University of Zagreb in Croatia. The jury, composed of myself as chair, Timothy Reed, a senior lecturer from UNID here in Spain and Eden vice president, Tugba Otstuk, from, who is an associate professor from Ankara University in Turkey and an and, and Arodal, Eurodal editorial board member, and Ulrich Bernat and Thomas Hulsman, who are both trustees and directors of the Ulrich Bernat Foundation of Research in Open and Distance Learning in Germany. We began the arduous selection process for the award and after a meticulous analysis of the papers during which the jury worked painstakingly through the process of aligning the papers 
on the, aligning their reviews with the criteria that Uli just discussed that have been established for the award, the jury ultimately and unanimous, unanimously voted for two papers to share the honor of this year's Eden Best Research Paper Award. The winners of the 2021 Best Research Paper Award are Emergency Responses to the COVID-19 Crisis in Education, a Shift from Chaos to Complexity by Barbie Svetek and Bletsenka Divyak from the University of Zagreb in Zagreb, Croatia. The second award goes to Differences in Academic Resiliency When the Pandemic Forced Courses Online. Was Prior Online Course Taking Protective? From Claire Val Valdis, Alys Alyssa Hachi, and Catherine Conway from City University of New York in the United States. The research question of the papers uh, from of the paper from Claire, Alyssa, and Catherine on the topic of academic resiliency sought answers on whether the forced shift to online learning as a result of the pandemic had an impact on course outcomes for four different groups of students at City University in New York in the United States. Their findings were based on a large scale database analysis comparing data from the term before the pandemic with the term immediately following that had been rapidly Im impacted by the pandemic. The results of this paper are intriguing and offer potential implications for the way forward post COVID. The second paper from Barbie and Bletsenka presents a Europe-based study on emergency responses to the COVID-19 crisis by examining the digital ready readiness and fitness for change of educational institutions, as well as the level of centralized versus decentralized decision-making practices that were undertaken during the pandemic in Croatia, Hungary, Slovakia, and Finland. And I just wanna make a side note, I really appreciate those who are here from Spain and uh, Sweden, Poland and Slovakia while the um, Europe uh, Cup is being played right at this moment, those four teams. So results of the study from this paper provide insightful perspectives into the diverse approaches applied by these countries in managing and coping with the reverberating effects of the pandemic. Both papers are comparable in their approaches. Both provide and define articulate and complete research questions and apply meaningful and clear methodologies. Both papers are exemplary in exploring the research themes and in reflecting upon them with arguments that are both theory and research informed. In both papers, the researchers have not, not avoided the complexity of the surrounding themes, but have rather invited their readers to engage and further reflect upon the complexity of these themes. Both papers raise critical and important issues about online and distance learning in the times prior to and during the pandemic, and both showcase the wide spectrum of lessons to be learned from a pandemic for the future of education. Congratulations. To all of the award winners, Claire, Alyssa, Catherine, Barbie, and Blitzenka. Back to you, Sandra. I have I have muted myself. Sorry. Congratulations to all nominees uh, and especially to the winners. I had my tears in my eyes because you know when Croatia is in question I always uh, I'm very emotional especially because these are the colleagues I know very well and uh, I'm very happy for them and for colleagues from USA uh, for, for their uh, rewards. Um, uh, I would like to invite Barbie and Blazenka uh, to say a few words um, uh, for, uh, because of the, uh, are you here? Can we can we I, I, yeah, I think the both of us are here, but you can, probably you can see me as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> so first of all, uh, like, let me thank you for, for the award and um, also to congratulate to all the nominees and uh, winners, because I know it is um, very hard to, to uh, be the nominee here at the Eden uh, Conference or research workshops. And um, uh, I know that um, all the nominees can, can get the prize. Uh, of course, I'm happy that we, we got it. 
uh, especially because Barbie is, uh, for Barbie is also, the, uh, she is a PhD student. And um, this is her first paper at the, at the conference at all, <laughs> research paper. So I'm really proud of, um, of her as well, because um, what we try to do it is try to do something on the micro level. Um, so it's not on a macro level, not on the micro level. So to look at the different countries in EU and try to find some, uh, let's say, re research um, uh, foundation, how to analyze the responses and to, to make a kind of a um, um, reference point for the future research in that area. And I'm um, uh, happy that you recognize that. And um, uh, tomorrow, Barbie is going to, um, um, to explain them in more details. And I hope that you will be, be there and ask her some friendly question because I think she is terrified right now. <laughs> so thank you, thank you very much. And I'm proud to be with you today. Thank you, Blazenka. We will definitely, my colleagues, we have to learn how to pronounce your name because uh, this is not the first uh, uh, young scholar that you are mentoring. Uh, we already had uh, some young scholars receiving awards. So, well, you can, you should change your name or, or learn us how to pronounce the, because it will be easier for all of us. Thank and Barbie, you. do you want to say a few words? Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, I think you can. Um, yeah. Yes, uh, we can hear you. I'll just say that um, this is really a great honor, and uh, not just because this is my first uh, conference paper ever, but uh, because it's been chosen among such a great number of really, really great papers. Um, and I think I also speak for my professor when I say that this is um, a topic that's especially dear to us, uh, as at the time of the onset of the pandemic, uh, Croatia was uh, in the middle of its Council of the EU presidency. So uh, both of us, uh, my professor and myself, <laughs> Uh, worked really closely yeah. with the, the member states and uh, uh, on the exchange of experiences during the pandemic. Uh, so this is, is something that really has um, um, a special place in <laughs> in our lives. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're really happy to have had this opportunity and looking forward to further okay. research. I don't know if it's my network uh, unstable or, or uh, is it so... Uh, but uh, thank you, Barbie. I can say Hvala Barbie Chestitam because uh, I know Barbie from the Ministry of Science from, from before. Uh, so congratulations again. And I know that our colleagues from USA are not able to join uh, today, but we have the message from them and I kindly ask Lisa to read the message. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, this is from Claire in the US. We are so honored to have been nominated for this award. Eden is such a great organization and there has been so much interesting and high quality research presented at the Eden conferences. That is that it is an honor and a wonderful surprise to be considered for this award. We could not have done this research without the support of many different offices at the City University of New York, who helped us to obtain the data that we needed for the research. We also want to recognize the critical contribution that all the students who have participated, participated in our research throughout the years have made in our ability to conduct this research. We could not have done our work without them. Thanks again to Eden for this wonderful honor. We are so grateful to be part of the Eden community. And one more round of applause for all the winners. Yeah. Well, uh, congratulations to all winners again. Uh, I wish to thank the jury for the hard work, but I'm glad that I think that hard work is always uh, good when you have um, uh, your, uh, lots of papers to, to revise uh, which conquer for such a word. Uh, thank you to Uli uh, for, uh, for uh, your work and contribution of, of your foundation. Um, and so uh, we are coming to the end of the second day of the EDEM conference, a long day with number of uh, presentation, workshop, for keynotes. So we are not over yet. We have tomorrow one uh, final day. We start tomorrow early at 8.30. So please get up early, be present uh, when we have our session on Eden uh, Presidents. 
And uh, we also have, uh, after some uh, presentations and workshops, the uh, closing plenary at two o'clock. So um, have a rest, a nice rest of the evening. Uh, all uh, winners, you have deserved the cup of uh, a glass of champagne, uh, but unfortunately we can do it only virtually. Have a nice rest and see you tomorrow. Bye.